Welcome back, folks, to my Let's Play Pokemon White. In the last episode, we beat Cheren and Bianca. Now we've got a really good level 11 Oshawa. Alongside a level 5 Lillipop at the moment, so all's going well. Alright, so, um, Cheren said that we might have missed him. Alright, well, let's check back at the gym. Maybe he's back at the gym now. Ooh, different person. Hello. Yes, yes, I am a gym leader of this town. And you are right. You want to challenge the gym? In that case, what was the first Pokemon you chose? Oh, sure what I see. It's weak against Grass-type Pokemon. I think you need to prepare to face that type. For example, try training your Pokemon in the Dream Yard. Please excuse me now. Right, this is something you don't have to do. Pretty much, there are three gym leaders. Hence, triple trouble. Um, one with a fire type, one with a water type, and one with a grass type. So, um, whatever Pokemon you start out with, they will go for the type that's weak, that's strong against it. However, what completely ruins that fact is if we go to the Dream Yard here. The Dream Yard! And have some battles. Hi, we're training here. Now, let's train Pokemon together. I just hope that you don't mind getting no experience from this. Okay, so last Eri has got herself a Purloin, which is level 8. Big level. Oh, I'm going to bring Kai here, uh, which is going to go for the Water Gun. Which is probably going to be like it's, uh, it's one of its best moves for the moment. It hopefully will get better moves. Well, obviously, it's a Pokemon, it's going to get better moves, but... I believe our next, we get like a uh, Razor Shell later on, which is a new move, and specifically only used by Oshawa in its evolutions. I think it, other Pokemon can learn it sometimes, but mostly it's Oshawa in its evolutions, which can learn it. <sighs> oh, I'm yawning, huh? Late night. Late night, early morning, got called up for an interview, so. Well. They asked, hey, interested about your CV, and stuff like that. Obviously, I'm looking for a new job, because um, I can't stand my current one. And they just go, well, we've got one in Kemble, which is like four miles away. Oh, you don't drive. Sorry. It's like, thank you. Anyway, let's carry on. A tree! I can't go in there yet. Hello. How are you today? My goal is to outperform gym leaders. Can you win against me? Probably yes, because you probably have normal types. This is youngster Joey. How's he got Rattata? No, he's got the rip-off Rattata on two legs that sucks. So he's got himself a Patrat, level 7. This isn't the same youngster, by the way, because this Patrat is definitely not in the top percentage of Patrats. Because if it was, it wouldn't use Leer. Let's finish you off with a tackle attack. Yeah. Take that, Patrat. Alright, so we gain some experience there. Next up is another Patrat. I'm going to switch and bring in Simba just to get some experience. Actually, I don't even what nature Simba is. It might be one with, like, really good defense or really good speed. Or what would be great is adamant natured. But I highly doubt that this game is going to give me an adamant natured physical attacking Pokemon. It's not going to do that. It was, I'd probably take the mild-natured Pokemon that I've got. Oh, wow. Okay, it's got bites. That's not nice. But it probably does less damage than Tackle because it doesn't get Stab off it. Fine. Simba Grid level 6 now, which is good. I believe... Oh, and a Lillipup as well. Okay. Well, I, I also know that uh, Lillipup can learn a really good move very early on in its uh, move chain. Which is a reason for training up a Lillipup. Um, it's not going to be my main team, by the way, if people want to know. But it's going to be sort of a side guy. It's sort of like um, Sandy Man from Pokemon Gold or Ziggy from um, Pokemon uh, Ruby. It's going to be like that, pretty much. So, uh, yeah. By the moment, it's all good sort of to train it up, you know. It may help out in a few gym battles. So, yeah, why not? Why not train up a Lillipup? Lillipup is one of very few base normal type Pokemons that actually has an evolution and then another evolution after that. 
Uh, Herdia and Stoutland are their official names, by the way. Ah, uh, now we're level 7. That's good. Youngster Joe defeated. My Pokemon fought well, didn't they? Not really. They weren't in the top percentage of stuff, so you sort of failed. Hello! Hey, hey, you! What was the first Pokemon you received? Oh, not this again. Look, it was Oshawa. Oshawa, really? Then Panseer could be a big help. Panseer? Your Oshawa does not do well against Grass-type Pokemon. Say, do you want a Panseer of mine? Y y sure! Okay, here you go. It can, you can use Fire-type moves, so that makes it hot against Grass-types. And we got us a Panseer! Yay! Give a nickname? Yes, we will! So Panseer is a Fire Monkey sort of thing. So I'm just going to call it... Uh, well, I'm thinking to call it Monkey. But we've had it already, so let's just call it, uh... I got it! I got a good name for it! Ah, <laughs> oh, this is so witty. We're gonna call you Panfernape. Which just fits, yes! So we're gonna call you Panfernape. Because that's pretty much what you are. You are an Infernape, but crap. If you have many po many types of Pokemon, something will work out, no matter what kind of Pokemon you have to face. That's true. That's why I don't like going for the same type, which is what most gym leaders do. And we get an extra fan, big whoop, no one cares. And there's some grass over there, which I would like to probably see what Pokemon are in it. But for the moment, no dice. Right, so with that done, oh yeah, I haven't checked out um, what level the Panseer is. Ooh, level 10! Not bad, good start. Alright, so Simba is calm-natured. Oh, balls. Low in attack, high in special defense. This Pokemon's going to be pretty much useless, I think. And in, yeah, and Panfernape is high in attack, not bad, low in speed. I'll take that, it's got gluttony, so it encourages the early use of held berries, which is good. Not bad, gluttony's a good move, um, because you get to use your berries uh, earlier. Instead of risking using them later, which is never nice. Alright, so I'm going to go train up, mostly train up my Lillipup uh, to level 10. And I'll see you back here in a bit. Alright guys, I'm back and it's pissing it down outside, even though it's sunny. That makes no sense. Anyway, if you actually go up here on Route 2, there's actually some Pokeballs here, so collect them. You know, we've got a potion. And there is a Pokeball. Nice. Alright, so I have now gotten um, my Simba, my little Simba, to level 10. And it's learned a new move. It learned a new move, I believe, at level 8. It learns Bite. 50 base power. Target is bitten. With very sharp fangs may cause the target to flinch. On its way, 60 base power. Alright, that's actually quite good then. Alright, so, not bad. Not bad at all. I think now it's time to battle the gym leader. So, let's go and kick the gym leader's a double s hole Let's do this! Right, so here we go. Oh, hello. Hello, I'm Clyde. Oh, wow, you actually have a name in this generation. Okay, we just called you random guy that calls you champ in the making. I'm the guide for the trainers challenging a Pokemon gym. All eight of them. I know, I have eight clones. We appreciate your challenging the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. Woo, a fresh water. Nice, thank you. Fresh water increases, I believe you, I believe, um, restores your health by like 50, I believe. Oh, that, that's lemonade. It still does a good amount, a lot more than potions do. Uh, yeah, fresh water, 50 points, nice. Armberry, town map, I think we're good for the moment, I believe. Bloody X speed, ugh. Alright. I believe, hang on, do you tell me what happens? One basic element of Pokemon battles is the relationship between types. If you choose Pokemon with affected types and affected moves, victory is just a step away. In this gym, proceed by stepping on the switch with the type that is effective against the one shown on the curtain. Okay, well that's a fire emblem, so... <laughs> not literally a fire emblem. So, I'm gonna go water. Yes! There you go, that's how you do this one. Uh, hey buddy, what are you doing here? Welcome to Strider Gym. Care for a taste of battle? I'll serve up the first course. 
Yeah, so this place is pretty much based on food. Seriously, Kirby would have a field day. Alright, so way to Maxwell, you have yourself a Lillipup. Which is level 11. High level Lillipup there. But I think we'll be okay. Hopefully. With my low attack and a crap like that. Nah, see? That hurt. Actually, no, it didn't. It was, it's just Leer. Alright, let's try another tackle. Tackle attack. Boom. Not bad. Now he's going to go for his tackle attack. Ah! No, he critted me! No fair! You... You cheated! Alright, let's bring in my Panfern Ape and see what moves we've got on this thing. Level 10. It's got Incinerate, which is a new fire type move. Scratch, Leer, and Lick. Lick obviously doesn't work on normal types, so let's go for the Incinerate. You're gonna you're gonna regret ever critting my poor Simba. Panfernape! Incinerate! Panfernape! Incinerate! Okay, that didn't work. Okay. Incinerate is a very weak move. Stop flinching! Damn it! Ow! This Lillipup is a douchebag! Kai, please kick its ass! Water gun. What the hell, Lillipup? I'm trying to get my other Pokemon health and experience. Do you mind? Kai wants to learn focus energy. Alright. Focus energy is a move which um, increases your chance of getting a critical hit if used. So, uh, useful. This thing, obviously, uh, the, that Lilip obviously has focus energy on tap. Ugh. Damn it, Maxwell. I've got to go back to the Pokemon Center now. So, going back to Pokemon Center. See you back here in a bit. All right, guys. We're back. Screw you. Ooh, that was close. Uh, that's a water emblem. So, grass. Grass is strong against water. Yay. All right. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. This this guy, this guy right here. You're not cheering, but you deserve this. Right, let's carry on. Come on, little pup, you can do better next time. Right. The specialty of Strider Gym. The full course. Trainer Deluxe. I'm your second course. Hooray! I just hope you're better than that stupid bloody little pup. Two Pokemon from Tia. Um, she's got a Patrat. Great. Which is level 10. Alright. We can take that. Go Simba. I think we're quicker than a Patrat. So I'm actually going to go Bite to try and get the flinch off. Bite. Nope. And he's also going for the Bite. Great. It's going to be a Bite off. Bite. Leah. Why don't you flinch? Alright, let's ch switch attacks. Damn it, now he's quicker, but he's going for Bide. And I'll finish this match way before that happens. So, yeah. Yes, critical hit! Thank you, Simba. Nearly a level up there. Next up is a Purloin. I'm gonna stay in here. Because in my that Purloin, if it uses assist and gets um, Bide, we've probably got this. Growl. Alright, that's not bad, actually. That's not bad at all. I can still finish this match in two turns, so that's a plus. Tackle attack. Sand attack? Oh, God. Lowers accuracy. Not nice. Uh, I'm going to see if we can get make it through. Yes, we battle through the sand attack to beat the purloin. Well done, Simba. Level 11. Nice work. Not bad. Not bad at all. That was one of our most popular order. Yeah, whatever. You lost 400 quid. All right. So this is grass. So it's got to be fire. Yay! We did it! And... Oh look! It's that guy! Looks like he's the gym leader and he's going to get his arse kicked. Alright, so we're gonna kill with Simba, I think. Simba's still looking in quite good health. Welcome to the Striton City Pokemon Gym! Oh god! There's another one! I'm Chili! I light things up with Fire-type Pokemon! I'm Water-type Specialist. And my name is Cress. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And I am Silen. I like grass type Pokemon. We, you see, as for why there are three of us, um, are all here is, well, uh, oh, enough. Listen up. The three of us will decide whom you'll battle. It'll be based on the type of the first Pokemon you chose. 
That is indeed the case. And the partner you cho chose was Watertype, it seems. Nothing personal, no hard feelings. Me and my Grass-type Pokemon will, um... We're gonna battle. Come what may. Bring it, Silen! So, um, if you're okay with me, I'll, um, put everything into being, uh, you know, your opponent. He's a lot more vocal in the anime, and a lot more of a bitch in the anime, too. Alright, so this is Silen, um, yeah. You are not Brock, why are you hanging around, Ash? Ah! Right, so he sends in a Lillipup first turn, level 12. So, um, yeah, tough. Very tough. I'm gonna kick off with Bite, I think. Oh, I'm quicker than it! Nice! Oh god, it's got Work Up. Work Up is a new move um, in this generation. It increases attack and special attack. It's a tough Pokemon. Tough type as well to take out. Right, I'm gonna see if I can finish this quick now. Go for the Tackle Attack. Let's go for the Bite. Oh, it does a lot of damage. Alright, screw it. I'm going for the Tackle again. If I get destroyed in the... Yeah. Well, Simba, you did well to actually take Lillipup out. Or to at least take him down to not much health. Right, Kai, you're in. Kai will finish the job. Water gun! Oh, damn you and your potions! Ah! Well, it doesn't matter. Kai and his water gun will take full effect. Ha <laughs> ha! Your potions mean nothing, Silen. You are beaten now! Right, so that's one Pokemon done for. Next one, Pansage. Gonna switch here into Panfernape. Uh, and this is the Grass Monkey thing. We got the Fire Monkey. This is the Grass Monkey called Pansage. There it is. Level 14, so it's a high level. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Incinerate. He's gonna go for Work Up, obviously, because that's... That's the type in this game, or that's the, uh, that's the TM you get at the end of the battle, so... I'm gonna go for the Incinerate. Burns berries and stuff. Does it actually give a burn? I hope it does. I can't remember for the life of me. Um, no, it doesn't get the burn. Well, that's annoying then. Hmm, okay. Lick might paralyze it, which would be nice. Yeah, go on, I'll go for the lick. Let's go in for the workup. Luckily, he's got nothing to beat me with. So I'm gonna go for the lick, hope for the paralysis. Lick! Not much damage, no paralysis. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to using Incinerate then. Now, Vine Whip! Which does no damage, luckily, so now I'm gonna just keep going for the Incinerate. To get it down to even more health. I'm actually gonna start scratching now. Go for another Vine Whip. Which does a fair amount of damage again. Scratch attack. That's doing less than Incinerate. Okay. And we'll keep to our original tactic of incinerating it in the face. Burn! Burn, 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 burn. Ooh! That's not bad. Right. I think you've done enough, Panfernate. Well done. If I'm quicker than the Pan Sage, I might get this. Come on out, Kai! Right, Kai, go for tackle. Damn it, he's quicker! Oh, he lived it with two health! Yes, two health! Go, Kai! You're awesome! And we win! We gain level up, go to level 14, and we beat Silent and get our first gym badge. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, Silent. What a surprise. You're very strong. Seems like not even Chili or Crest could beat you. And we win! That badge! Yay! Boom! There's the badge. In our little Pokedex thingy. We received the trio badge from Silent. Gym badges are proof of a trainer's abilities. If you have one badge, Pokemon including trading Pokemon up to level 20 will obey without question. We also want you to have this. TM83, which is work up. Nice. Good move as well. TM83 contains work up. If you use work up, the Pokemon's attack and hate special attack will go up. By the way, TMs can be used as many times as you want. That's a new thing they brought into this game, by the way, which is work up. Also, TMs can be used as many times as you want in this generation. Oh, how lovely. All right, so let's see our TM case and let's see work up. 
Increase attack and do, uh, attack and special attack. Simba and Panfernate can both use it. I'm gonna give it to Simba, in fact, and I'm gonna get rid of Odor Sleuth because it sucks. And I'm also gonna give it to Panfernape as well, because Workup's actually a really good move. Because it doesn't matter what type of attacks your Pokemon uses, it can increase either attack or special attack. So let's get rid of Leer. Because Workup is better than Leer. <coughs> anyway, I'm gonna go for a break here, but in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon White, we will be going to our next objective. Maybe to our next gym badge. Anyway, I'll see you then.